Radio. Swagger all day, baby. Swagger all day, baby. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's your boy, Trainers in the Black Knight, representing that Swag Magazine and that Swag Radio. And she knuckles is in the building. And we with my sister, Pazzy. P- what's up, Pazzy? What's, what's up? up? what's up y'all man it's I'm good to y'all. see you good to see it's you good to, it's good to be seen thank man. y'all so much for having me what's up you looking like nefertiti right now look hey you that's what TD good. that is what's good <laughs> so you in the studio you back in the lab of uh, uh tearing it down absolutely you know i just dropped a single uh called hot chips okay. and we got a lot of new music on the way um i just been working Right. on film working on music and just staying creative so Indeed. i'm super excited for everything that's happening i got some super big news that i actually haven't even shared yet with um social media so i can just drop it here because that's right. what i did there you go so our film night shifters actually made it to the big screen which i'm super excited yeah. about and it's going to be premiering in regal cinema theaters in downtown los angeles on september 5th at 1 45 p.m so if you're in the los angeles area come through check your girl out and come see night shifters it's a horror film it's super dope something that we worked on very hard we won over 17 film awards for it so far so for it to make wow. it to the big screen is a huge blessing and it just is a testament that hard work truly truly does pay off so i'm i'm just elated i'm gonna be in la we're gonna be tearing up tearing up LA September Man. 5th we got two premieres we got the one at us uh, Regal Cinema and we're also going to do a private screening red carpet as well awesome 17 awards awesome yes. Oh man, the, the creative is good. The creative is good. But y'all, y'all work your team. You, your team, y'all work hard anyway, though, man. That's what y'all do. Y'all, y'all get y'all get down. Y'all get down. <laughs> so so what else? I mean, what else? Um, you been up to though, other than your hard work, man? Um, I mean, I got engaged. I yes. guess that's something yes. that's, that's new. I'm a fiance, uh-huh. so bling. Uh, <laughs> contrary to popular belief, you can have it all. You can work on your career as a music artist. You mm-hmm. can work on your career as an actress and you can also have love. I know I see a lot of females and males out here basically, you know, saying that, oh, you can only just go hard and focus on your work, but that's not true. When you can find somebody that you can love and also be on that journey with, it's just a, a huge blessing. So wow. I'm happy that I'm I'm living my dream Beautiful. all around you That's know not I'm just through my career but i'm actually focusing on love which is new because you know you've known me uh-huh. for years you've like you've grinding. known baby baby positive i'm <laughs> yeah. still i'm still a baby uh-huh. but you know you've known baby baby positive. right 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 so I've, I've grown tremendously since you know that first feature cover of swag indeed. magazine yeah. y'all gave me my first cover That's of a magazine. Up. indeed 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 well you know we when we spotted you we was like man who this one right here Oh, she a beast. We gotta get yeah, contact her. And, then, and when we did, you just like, oh, you know, use the, the truth all the way across the board. You know, good person, but hardworking, talented. It was like, damn. And then you introduced us to your family and the love. Oh, you know, it was a beautiful thing, man. Beautiful thing. You sister, you family for life. You family, family for life. But okay, but you you've been traveling the world a little bit too, man. So, Absolutely. Tell the I, uh, about that. Yeah, man. I've been traveling and creating the project while on the go for our album that's going to be released and called chips and soda Mm -hmm. we actually traveled to five countries um we did five different videos in five different countries all independent we went to greece china uh brussels france africa out in dakar uh west senegal and we just basically created an a universal sound with this album and we're going to be rolling it out in single format so that people can kind of really get a feel for what it was like to have us travel and create this this album on the go Mm -hmm. so it's something definitely super unique we shot the video for the next single that we're going to be dropping is called we came to party we actually shot the music video on the great wall of china oh that's crazy yeah my fiance and myself we basically shoot all of our content ourselves Mm -hmm. which is very um it's very interesting being the music artist and also being the 
a filmmaker because yeah, you have visual. to have yeah. not, exactly, yeah. exactly. So I mean, I'm just I'm excited because it's something you that got we me worked excited so here. I'm, I'm like, I can't wait, I can't <laughs> wait. I'm all excited. That's what's up. I'm glad you're excited. That's I'm excited. Up. I'm excited yeah. myself. And you know, we did the chip bags ourselves. So chips and soda tour basically encompass not just the music, but us also touring uh -huh. with our own chip bags. Beautiful. And it's basically using that as a as an additional promotional tool to get the music out there to let people know that we're here. Awesome. And we, awesome. We own I know you when you, you guys posted up uh, some vids and some pictures, and I was sitting down with my daughter and her girlfriends, and you know my daughter, my one daughter does makeup, and my other daughter does hair, and they was like, "Wow, that's beautiful. The scenery is crazy." But she looked like a Disneyland uh, princess in one of the movies or something. And I was like, "Y'all remember Posy?" And it's like, "Yeah, that's oh, that's her." I'm like, wow. wow. Yeah, they that's was, crazy yeah they was messed I up i received that disneyland character i mean i'm claiming it like <laughs> that's, that's, right. that's well, a future role right there <laughs> yeah but those pictures and those videos was that amazing and that's and that was in-house that's all y'all that was y'all work all us awesome. absolutely y'all do good work yeah. man y'all do great work great work thank you i appreciate great that work. we're just trying to trying to keep the dream alive and just you know stay focused and mm -hmm create content that's really what makes me happy it's just being a creator just right. showing my versatility on all platforms through music through acting and we actually not in addition to what i've been working on it's so crazy because sometimes i'll forget to mention certain things that i'm doing because we're doing so many different things mm -hmm. we are also we, we're also doing group travel retreats back to africa beautiful so, yeah, I, I like want to be a dual citizen. I want to be a dual citizen. I want to be a dual citizen in Tanzania. Yeah, let's make it happen. Please. I don't know about Tanzania, but I'm I have residency you in Kenya, uh, right? um in Senegal. Senegal. Okay. I do have residency for Senegal, wow. yes. Well, how how hard a transition is that though? Um, it's not hard. When I got my residency, I was actually out there. When I went there, it was supposed to be, I don't know if you know the story. I went there to visit for a seven day trip for a mm -hmm. women's empowerment seminar that I was speaking on. And my right. seven days actually turned into me living there for two years. Wow. So through that process, I was mm -hmm. able to gain um, residency because I was out there for basically right. essentially two years. And mm -hmm. since then I've just been going back and forth and my vision and my love is to also give that same initial feeling that I had when I visited the motherland to other people. So that's what we do through our organization, Rhythm and Remedy, where hip hop helps. I sent you one video where you took family members or something, friends or whatever, and when they got up to the airport, they was just like, the, the the look on their face was like, oh God, I'm in the motherland. But could you tell them, tell, I mean, tell our young people not to be scared of Africa, because you know, they heard all of the boogeyman stories and this and that, and you need a thousand yeah. shots and the lion's going to come and eat you and all of that no. stuff. Is, is the complete opposite of what the media tries to show us and tell us. Mm -hmm. When you get there, the love and the embrace that you feel from our people, I don't even want to say the people because those are our people. Definitely, hands um, down. We're all Africans. We're just born in America. That's you know, it wasn't mm -hmm. our choice. It's mm -hmm. just happened that way. Yeah. So um, when you get there, you definitely feel a sense of connection, a sense of just being home. And that's why I do what I do and making sure that I can get as many people to visit mm -hmm. and helping their process a lot easier. When we do our trips, we plan everything from walking with the lions. Of course, it's a safe environment. Mm -hmm. We take people back to Glory Island so that they can see the history of our ancestry and where our people uh, sailed off to, you know, right. what happened to us, you know. Um, wow. There's just so much to learn through, um, cultural exchange and I feel like it's super imperative especially for the young people to make that journey back so that they can have a sense of who they are and that's, when you know who you are so you're, important. That you're so limitless important. yeah yeah that's so important that's a beautiful thing y'all do right there man I want to sign up for that I want to sign up for that myself come. for real I really do yeah I really really do it's beautiful but I seen the pics and the vids and I was like look at sis okay that's what I'm talking <laughs> about and we was actually gonna go me and a group of guys was gonna go in 2020 but then the pandemic hit and that, that derailed us but yeah yes. yo, we was gonna go to Tanzania because a friend of mine um he's from Tanzania he actually was a bronze medalist uh he fought against the USA in boxing so oh wow so he lives here in america now but he's back and forth every year to tanzania he keeps trying to marry me off with one of his family members but no nah, i just want to go visit ah. 
I just want to go and visit. Not the Tanzanian bride. I love it. (laughs) Yeah, but it's beautiful. I definitely want to do that, man. That's yeah. You got to come to Senegal first. I'm sorry. I have to tell you, Tanzanian folk. Hold on, I got to go out here to Senegal with my sis first. Okay. We're gonna show, give you the works. Like that. Make you feel. You're gonna do like me. Go out there for a five day trip and end up staying for two years. You just Uh never know. Right. Never that, know. So the worst thing for me be the plane ride. I hate the plane ride. That's oh my god. How many hours? Well, you know that? you can get a straight flight from New York to Dakar. Right. And how many hours would that be? That's only like eight hours. Oh yeah. Yes. I didn't. Know I believe that. it's. Well, I don't want to. It might be ten, but yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, but it ain't twenty. It ain't twenty thirty nine. It's or not twenty five. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm exactly. Talking. That's what I'm talking about. So we got we got to rewind and take. Papazi, we gotta let them know your history and the things you was, you know, you, you, how you started out, you know, in this industry. Yeah, absolutely. Well, initially, um, my journey began. Of course, you know, I'm from Philly. For those who don't know, I'm from Philadelphia, West Philadelphia, born and raised <laughs> um, in the playground where I spend most of my days. <laughs> And from that transition, I actually um, moved to LA to go to college. And I got my master, not my master's, I got my BFA in fashion design and marketing. And after I got my bachelor's, I ended up moving to New York. Mm -hmm. And after I moved to New York, I ended up designing for companies like Levi's, J. Crew, um, Pink, uh, Victoria's Secret. And one day when I was designing for Levi's, I just um, had a dream. And then the next day, I, after I had that dream, I was like, man, I got to quit my job. And I went into work, <laughs> I quit, and then I started essentially working for myself. I ended up doing New York Fashion Week. I had my clothing line. And then from there, I said, you know what? I want to do more than just style, you know, people for you know fashion so i ended up starting to get into film and television so i got my first movie that i worked on which was dunny i was a costume designer for it it was my first film i was i was so like young and i just thought i knew everything but it was the best experience because it allowed me to realize how much i had a love for film and at this time i was only doing fashion i wasn't an actor i wasn't doing my music yet. I I was writing, but I wasn't fully immersed in it. So from there, I ended up working on a project, uh, Manhattan Nights. The director now has gone on to win several Emmys. Shout out to Gregory J. Martin. He Mm -hmm. gave me my first break at designing um, costumes for his films. And he also gave me my first break as an actress. When I crossed through camera, he was like, you know what? I'm gonna put you in this next scene. And I was like, what? Mm -hmm. So from there, I was like, okay, wait a minute. I actually love acting. So Mm -hmm. let me see what I can do with acting. It's just crazy how my story started in fashion and then developed from there into me going into, you know, film through through fashion and then actually going to film and being an actress. And my friend, my good friend, Sherry Johnson, shout out to her. She's also a Pennsylvania girl. She had hit me up and she was like, hey, you know, I know you did this one song. I have this film that I'm working on. Can I use your song for our film? The song was called Dear Listener. It was one of my first songs that I Mm -hmm. ever wrote. And um, she ended up putting my film in her movie. So I was like, man, all of this is just connected. It's no, like, this is not happening by chance, you know? So Mm -hmm. I don't believe in mistakes. I believe that God, or ordains our path in a way that we can never understand. We set out to do one thing, but he has us, you know, he already knows in his mind what he wants us to do. So from there, I just started writing and I was like, you know what? I can do it all, you know? Like, I don't have to just do one thing. I don't have to just do fashion. I don't have to just do acting. I can do fashion, acting, and music. So I just started working on my scripts and developing, you know, uh, a knack for storytelling and visual t- uh, visual storytelling as well. And I didn't have a large label to give me anything. So I had to basically create my own path. I had to be super creative in my approach for when I was making music, for when I was writing scripts, when I was doing all these things. But I think that's really what shaped and developed my career was the fact that I had to do a lot of it myself because I didn't have, I wasn't signed to a label. So I just had to figure out, you know, like, okay, let me just use my relationships from when I worked on set with these different people. And school dance gave me a lot of confidence. Um, Shout out to Nick Cannon. 
they caught me in for an audition. They were like, okay, we're going to cast you. I ended up working on school dance, and that's how I got my SAG, uh, my SAG card. The SAG working card, on right? School dance. Okay, that, yeah, yeah, official. Like that. that made it official. Yes, that made me official. <laughs> and so that was my first first film like you know like actually seeing myself like wow this is crazy like I can actually do this and then when I was on set with Nick I was like yo can I you know we was going to his trailer and I was like yo can I can you listen to something real quick I was bold listen mm -hmm. when right. I say bold since I got you here was, we might, um, you know what I mean since I got you here homie <laughs> yes you feel me like people were scared when he was coming on set like yeah. the PAs was telling us like oh don't bother yeah, Nick right, right. you know don't ask him for pictures don't do this I got yeah. a picture with Nick Cannon yeah, right, right. he listened to my music uh -huh. he told me I was dope but it's like fortune favors the bold you know like yeah. and he was happy to do it he was like right. yo sis he was like you're super dope right. so that then forged the confidence that I needed to just go after what I want Mm -hmm. and be bold you know like reach mm -hmm. out to these people they're human beings yeah, just, just like, like we us. are yeah. just like us yeah. and half the time they're looking for talent you know they're yeah. looking for the undiscovered they want to be the people that says oh, oh i discovered I the person this. yeah 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 that's so. awesome that, that's awesome that's awesome you just you you ain't a thousand years old how you got to do all this stuff at this young <laughs> age you did a lot of stuff man <laughs> And you can Multi, do so. Multitasking. <laughs> right, right, right. Because we're not just one thing, you know. We we made yes. in layers, so you know we can do a lot of things. We can't just put ourselves in a box. And that's what's up. I gotta ask you though, who? What was the uh, entertainment scene? And who's your favorite artist in Africa? Who you listening to? Who you rocking with? Ooh, that's well. I have a, I have a few few faves. Um, if you ask me who would I love a collab with, yeah. it would definitely be WizKid mm -hmm. and Burna Boy. Right, right. Hot, both of them. Top. Yeah, hot. Top. Um, that's off top. As far as, like, in the States, I love Bia. Mm -hmm. Bia is just hard to me. I like I like her sound. She's just super chill. Um, I, I don't know. I'm different. I like, like... I like listening to indie artists' music a lot more than I do mainstream. So sometimes I'll hear a song, I won't even know who the artist is. I'll just add it to my playlist because right. it's hard. Right. So I, I like to listen to a lot of different, you know, like eclectic different type of music. I like Afrobeat. I love EDM. A lot of the music that I'm doing now is very, very different from what people have heard me do in the past. So mm -hmm. they're gonna be like, "Is this the same Posse?" But yeah, you know, I'm just I'm growing. I'm experimenting and just having fun with it. But okay. definitely WizKid and Burner. So if you got a plug with WizKid and Burner, tell them to holler at your girl. I might have to look into that for you. But, yeah. But it's crazy because <laughs> some of the, I mean, some of the uh, most popular songs on Swag Radio, one of the most popular songs is one of your old cuts. So I can't imagine what the new song is. Which song? You, you, you already know. You, uh, you don't. Get back, man! Everybody Get go. back with Jordan Banks, of that, course. Y'all went in on that, man. It's just the whole feel of that song was just. Even when it come on, you be like, oh, that's that shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was fire, man. Y'all killed that. Yeah, shout out, shout out to Dave Gaines, the producer of that song. He's incredible. He actually won a Grammy a few years back. Get the out. producer okay. of Get Back. So oh, shout out to Dave Gaines and Jordan. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, yo, so. We're going to take a real quick commercial, then we're going to come back and get on your nerves for a couple more minutes, if that's okay with you. Let's take Let's this commercial. Go. This is where it's at. 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 We back, we back, we bizzack with Posse. Yo, Posse, so tell us a little bit more about, you know, your, your team, the people you work with right now in the studio, your future husband and all that, you know, tell us. How to, uh, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, right now I am um, in Atlanta. I've been out here since February, just working on a few different productions um, for our films and also just creating new music 
My fiance is super dope. He's my right hand, um, somebody that I love just being able to create with. Most of the songs that you're gonna hear coming up off of these new singles, um, we'll be featuring him as well. Um, we just love creating, man. We're just, we just a dynamic duo out here just living our multi-hyphenate life, <laughs> creating creating films, making music, uh, working with companies and different brands. We actually shot a Fanta campaign that was super dope. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Pazzi Maserati. You can check it out. It's pinned at the top of my page. But yeah, we've just been trying to get into partnering with different brands and working on jingles and just stretching our talents. Indeed. Partnering up with people. Y'all, y'all have nice chemistry even on camera too. When I see y'all two together, y'all chemistry is crazy. It's like y'all two could do like Sunny and Cher type stuff, modern day. Hey. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, so I, I look forward to seeing what y'all create and come up with, man. Keep, keep Absolutely. Being, keep being creative as you always we been. Are. And uh, Absolutely. beautiful thing. So talk to the people. Anything else you want to say? Um, thank you so much for having me. You know, check me out, posimusic.com. Make sure y'all go and stream that hot chips. It's out now. Just type in hot chips and then posi P O Z Z I E. It'll come right up. And just look out for the new music. Next single dropping is We Came to Party. And I actually have another single dropping called Stash It next month, which I produce myself. Okay. I've been getting into doing some music production, so I'm super excited to share that talent with the world um it's just crazy to see you know the different things that i've been getting into and actually becoming uh pretty good at them so Mm -hmm. i'm excited for stash it produced by your girl and just stay tuned that's what's up stay tuned you heard it personally from miss posi yo man we love you over here you know we family we're gonna keep continue to look out for you push you do whatever we can on our end man just keep continue being blessed love I appreciate y'all so much. Swag Magazine for life. I love y'all. Thank y'all for just supporting me from the beginning of my career until now. I feel love. I appreciate y'all. Peace. The love is real, queen. The love is real. Swag Radio. Swagger all.